Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we're looking at the Kavi fan token. Um, I've actually never heard of this individual, you know, but apparently I hear he's got a following, you know, and he makes people laugh, you know, so... Um, and so you can see here, together we make a great laugh and big thing. You know, so um, we're trusted, you know, by more than eight, eight national communities. Join us to build the smiliest crypto ecosystem ever seen. You know, so um, first thing I want to cover is that, you know, they did have an audit done on this project. Passed with issues, you know, medium severity issue. Auto liquidity is going to an externally owned account. So that's the verbiage that's indicated in the findings in the audit. So just be aware of that. Team's not photodocs, no certificate of KYC has been found. Um, let's see here. And then as far as a pre-sale, the pre-sale is going to a place called, a place that I've never heard of. You know, it's uh, it's called Maple Sales. You know, so I've never heard of this pre-sale site, you know, and I do list this in my concern red flag section. Um, you know, so I can't speak to the safety, you know, of it concerning connecting a wallet, you know, to the site and, and the safety of your assets, you know, so... Um, the other thing I also want to point out is that in the Twitter community at the time that I scouted this, which was yesterday, there are zero followers at the time of scouting this project. So this is concerning to me because, you know, a pre-sale is actually going to be coming up in like two or three days, you know, so, and you don't have a community, you know, in your Twitter, uh, which for, I think, nearly, I, I would I would say more than 98% of projects, you know, in crypto have a Twitter community. Um, because again, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, those are your big three, you know, and having those communities help to fuel the participation that takes place in a pre-sale. So if you don't have a community in Twitter, I think that that is something that definitely needs to be highlighted. You know, now I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, hey, oh my gosh, they don't have a Twitter community. So that means they're not going to have a successful pre-sale. I'm not going to go ahead and tell you anything like that. But I am going to tell you that, you know, hey, those three big communities, there is a reason why a ton of projects, most projects in crypto have a Twitter community because, I mean, it, it just matters. And Twitter is a huge space, you know, so you typically want to have a community there. So um, I do want to highlight, you know, that um, as far as the concerns and red flags in this one, no certificate of KYC has been found. The pre has taken place on a website that I, I mean, it does look like a, you know, pink sale, you know, um, a type of pink sale site, you know, but again, I've never heard of it. Doesn't mean that just because I've never heard of it, that it's not legitimate. I'm just highlighting to you, I've never heard of it. Um, and, and let's see here. And they don't have a Twitter community whatsoever, you know, so at least when I looked at it yesterday. So I'm just making you aware of those observations because that's what I do on the channel. If I go ahead and I see it, I'm going to let you know. All right. So moving forward, um, they do have a white paper here, you know, so we'll take a look at it, you know, not real long. I mean, it's 12 pages. Now, I'm not really a fan, you know, of how they did this white paper, you know, this the color scheme. I just think, I don't know, I just don't, I don't think it's really complimentary, you know, to the project in my personal opinion. But again, I get to go ahead and share my personal opinion with you because, you know, it's my channel. So, um, so yeah, so that's just my thoughts, you know, on it. But uh, again, it's just, you know, maybe somebody else, you know, thinks it looks great. Hey, uh, more power to you. Um, but either way, copy token or fan token origin, so they give you some information there, you know. So I'll just take you through, you know, some of the different slides here just so you can see what's going on um let's see here I'll keep going keep going so um they say make people smile to earn you know kft which is the ticker you know through the kft app a huge community uh, kft is gas on kft chain kft bounty hunt and airdrop cheapest fee and 50,000 tps administration you know via dial voting so the platform for meme token they talk about what their goal is here um you know it's the name of the world smile through kabi you know kft's responsibility is making this world a better um a smiling world through our global philanthropy can't speak on this one good grief um we're very happy to overcome depression with those who need us uh, bring more opportunities to uh, the colored people share the hunger in africa and let the dream of becoming football footballer you know for children without condition come true now i don't necessarily care you know for their verbiage here i just think you know this is something you know of yeah in terms of modern you know modern times you know nobody uses this kind of verbiage you know but um so yeah i my advice there or at least just recommendation my personal opinion maybe look 
for you know way to wordsmith that a little bit you know, differently. All right, all of our charities are organized with the name and image of you know Kabi, our goal, our ultimate goal. And if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly, I apologize. Like I said, I've never heard you know of this individual before. So again, just you know I'm doing my best here. Um, but if I am mispronouncing it, by all means, you know don't hesitate to go ahead and let me know for anybody you know viewing the, the video. Our ultimate goal will, will bring the uh, real Kabi lane, you know, to the charity locations we've organized to help those in need uh, together build a new world uh, thanks to crypto and Binance. So, and let's see here. So they talk about, you know, trust relationship with the community. All receipts related to charity will be collated, collated and shared publicly. You know, so they're trying to go ahead and, you know, operate, you know, with some level of transparency, which is helpful, which is good. All right, so we see the roadmap, you know, so we see, you know, different stages here, you know, all the way to stage five, you know, so we see in stage one, project brainstorming, website development, a white paper building, you know, building the community. We see in stage two, deploying the contract, begin the DApp beta, uh, development of the KFT wallet, photo, uh, prototype of KFT v1, and launching the contract. In stage is three, four, and five, we see a number of different things starting with starting with stage three. The official launch of the V1 of white of the white paper, audit and KYC, pre-launch marketing, pink sale, pre-sale, and the launch on pancake. And that's all going to take place, you know, here in stage three. You know, so since they've got their pre-sale coming up, which I want to point out, if the pre-sale is supposed to take place on Maple Sale, and I will leave you the link, you know, to where it says that in their telegram, why do you have pink sale, you know, here? On your roadmap and this brings me to another point when we talk about roadmaps a lot of teams go ahead and just you know they develop the roadmap you know pretty early on in the project and then they never come back to it to go ahead and adjust it and roadmaps as i've mentioned you know on some other videos roadmaps are fluid documents you know it is an, it's extremely important and even though i say this like a broken record on the channel on the channel about the fact that you know what hey you need to be indicating what's in process what's pending and ongoing on roadmaps the reason for that is because you want to stay and you want to communicate and the optics for the team should be you know to the community should be that as a team we're very connected to our roadmap because we know that it's subject to change we know that it could change you know so all those things do matter but Again, you know, the most current information I've seen in my information gathering on this project is that the pre sale is not taking place on Pink Sale. So if the team happens to come across the video, you know, um, if they are doing a pre sale, you know, on Pink Sale, um, you know, then they need to indicate that information. I'd be more than happy to, you know, hear from them, you know, through a comment or email. Um, you know, but best information I've got so far, and there was a timer on Maple on the Maple Sale site. You know that um, that pre-sale coming up on that on that uh, site is coming up very soon. So I haven't seen anything in regards to pink sale. So and then we see the launch on pancake. Stage four, we see prototype KFT bridge v1 at the KFT scan uh, beta launch. Begin constructing of the KFT chain in global marketing. And then in stage five, we see uh, some more development going on here. KFT scan bridge and swap all of them v2 marketing campaign in the US UK and then a v2 coming to the roadmap, which I do think is helpful to see that because at least it then it means that you know hey they're not done with the roadmap they're not done with the development they're not done with the project because they're going to be doing a v2 on the roadmap so i do think that is helpful to see that all right on tokenomics we see by five percent on the buy and sell side uh we see the slippage that's recommended here total supply is going to be 150 million and then they give you some additional information here and that pretty much takes us to you know the end of the documentation now moving forward you know in terms of the main page you know what is the kft you know here so it's a long-term community project oriented to grow into a global charity fund all right so we're especially paying attention to hope for depression uh protection uh, Protests against racism, sponsor children with dreams of becoming footballers, um, and share hunger in Africa. Honestly, I hope to get the recognition and support, you know, from Kabi to have the right and using uh, his image, you know, to create a charity fund for the community, the Kabi fan token. Now, as we've seen with some of these other fan tokens, sometimes they go well, sometimes they don't. Sometimes people are cool with you using your name in terms of a token, and sometimes they're not. So, and that can literally create a situation for a token to have to completely move in a totally different direction, um, you know, depending on the feedback they get from whomever it, who, whomever's name they're using, you know, for their fan token. You know, so we get a button, you know, for their for the white paper. Uh, here they talk about the ecosystem and their token ecology. You know, so 
Um, let me see here. And then we get some other things here associated with the token, huge community. KFT is gas and KFT chain, KFT bounty hunt and airdrop. All right, and then we see cheapest fee and 50,000 TPS, you know, so, and the TPS always, you know, refers to whatever you guys have heard me talk about that before, transaction per second, just so they indicate that, you know, here, administration via DAO voting, you know, and then we see platform for the meme token, and then it just goes back to the first thing, right, so, we see the tax and that information in regards to economics again, so we already already gone through that. They talk about how to purchase it, you know, they're giving you information, you know, here in regards to the roadmap, you know, so you can see that there. And that takes us to the end, you know, of their main page, you know, so that's going to do it, you know, for me in regards, you know, to this particular token. I've already gone ahead and shared with you my concerns in regards to it, you know, so we're going to see how this one goes. Um, but yeah, I do think they've got some work, you know, to do a little bit, you know, on this project. And, you know, it, it will be interesting to see, you know, um, how uh, the individual, you know, that they're using, you know, to represent this token in terms of the name. Um, we'll see how they respond, you know, to it as far as this, this fan token is concerned. So, you know, as we know with fan tokens, you know, we've seen plenty of Elon fan tokens, you know, and other people that have got fan tokens out there. Sometimes people are okay with it and sometimes people aren't, you know, but you're not going to really know right away until after the token launches you know so um but i really do and i'm really curious to see if they can um you know kind of clarify what's going on in regards to the maple sale um pre-sale and the pink sale pre-sale that they mentioned you know in their in their roadmap so again if the team comes across the video you know maybe they can go ahead and shed some light and insight on that for me that'd be helpful i'm always willing to engage with various teams you know in regards to crypto projects you know that i cover on the channel sometimes i get this stuff right people sometimes i don't you know so if i'm ever wrong about something you know hey i'm not going to take offense if you uh especially if you're right <laughs> um if you go ahead and you point that out to me you know, so I'm always receptive to feedback, you know, so by all means, you know, don't ever hesitate to engage with me in the comment section or to leave me an email. Uh, I, I do respond to all of that communication at this time, at least in terms of where the channel's at, in terms of, um, you know, subscribers, you know, so. Uh, and on subscribers, if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. If you're getting any value out of the channel, you know, from any projects that I uh, cover on the channel, you know, you think somebody else might be able to do the same, please share the channel with them because I can't grow this channel without you. You know, so as we continue to grow one subscriber at a time, you know, hopefully we can continue to um, provide, you know, useful information uh, for people to engage with, you know, as they take a look at various crypto projects, you know, uh, in this crypto landscape. So thank you so much for watching and that'll do it for me. And I'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description below. You all enjoy the day.